Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover our first pond water pH test and show you what happens when you put fresh green oak wood in water. I was shocked. This filamentous algae bloom just showed up on the surface today and this dark brown floaty sludgy film showed up right after the last heavy rain. And I'm not sure what's causing that dark stuff, but with no photosynthesis taking place in the pond so far, since there isn't any vegetation, I think the dissolved carbon dioxide in the pond is is too high. And I've read that the brown sludge could be an indication of just a high dissolved CO2 level, which kind of makes sense because we haven't supplemented any oxygen and don't have any plants growing in the pond yet. I'm excited to get some fathead minnows and shiners started as our forage base. We need to figure out our pH balance of the water first. So I got this test kit on Amazon inside there's a, a five milliliter test tube ph solution and you add five drops to each five milliliters and then we're gonna measure it against this card before we put any kind of fish in here whether we need to treat the water all right five drops Flip it upside down and match it with the card. And I would say really close to that nine number. Well, we started collecting water in the pond about two weeks ago. And as a brand new pond, a lot of minerals from the from the earth. I haven't aerated it at all. Water continues to run in. So out of curiosity, I tested the water from this stream as it seeped up through the ground before it entered into the pond. And the pH was basically neutral, which was comforting to know that the water source was good. So I took another test on a different side of the pond. This test produced roughly the same, the same color. And so my wife, being as smart as she is, suggested, well, let's just make sure. She gave me some lemon juice, some acidic lemon juice. So we're gonna see if indeed One drop of lemon juice, I would say, turns it pretty, pretty red, five and a half maybe. We're gonna be filling the pond with water from the well. And so I thought that it would be good to test the untreated well water from one of the outside hoses to see if the water that we're gonna be adding to the pond is basic or acidic. Five drops. And so the outside faucets are untreated. You be the judge there. I'd say that's really close to, that's really close to seven. So that's encouraging. So we'll continue to test, treat and test and um, get closer to um, that that lime green line on the card before we introduce any uh, fathead minnows or any shiners um, to start building a forage base. So here's a tip for you. This is a before and after photo taken 24 hours apart. That wood chunk is from an oak tree that was just cut down the day before. We've been debating about whether to put the green oak stumps and logs in the pond for fear of the poisonous tannins leaching out into the water and potentially killing the fish in the future and making the water unsightly and stained. I was shocked at how dark the water became as the tannins leached out of the wood. Something to keep in mind as you consider putting newly felled oak trees in your pond. Hey, hope this video was helpful. Water quality is vital in your pond management plan and one of the best things that you can do for a pond is to supplement oxygen. Isn't it amazing that when you think about God's design and the photosynthesis cycle and how plants and vegetation take carbon dioxide and convert it to oxygen, how God designed a system to take what's dead and make it new again. In our pond, it's currently devoid of enough oxygen and it looks nasty. We all rely on our next breath for the vitality of life, and that's no different for our pond. It needs ox oxygen, so just something to ponder. And look what showed up. We'll be installing this aeration system in an upcoming video. 
be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that and all the future pond build projects. Thanks for watching and joining us in our pond building adventure. We'll see you next time.